so welcome back again. I'm with Jesse from Tips Geeks and I'm Kang. Hi. Okay, so what we did last time was we unboxed the Trident X. After the unboxing, what we did was we set it up and we looked at the components that were inside. Uh, we found out that it was actually uh, an MSI GeForce RTX 2080 that was inside. So what we're going to do now is we're going to be showing you the upgradability of the Trident X and how easy it is to do it. So we have Kang here to help us do it. We have here the RTX 2080 Ti. Okay, so we had to take it out of her PC for now. Uh, so that uh, we could test it out here on the Trident X. Let's see how far the Trident X can go I'm using other components. So shall we? Okay. Let's go. Okay, so now we're going to be taking this apart piece by piece. Can I do the screw thing? Sure. Oh. There you go. You have to really slide it. First things first, let's take out the GPU. Okay, so of course we have to remember where we got all the screws in. Oh uh, yeah. Okay, so you really have to be careful with these things because the moment you pull out something that isn't supposed to be pulled out, pretty much destroy the whole thing. So far we've taken out <laughs> Quite a number of screws, which makes it kind of hard to do. It has that latch that you have to press on to. Okay, so there are more screws here on the other side. So what MSI did here was they made sure that everything is secure. We've taken out the MSI uh, RTX 2080. So one down, take out the components at the back. So we have two parts here. We have SATA cages, 2.5 inch storage drive cages. One thing that I'm seeing here is that MSI has really provided us a lot of screws, which kind of makes it secure, yes, at some point, but also inconvenient. Having too many screws is really tiring to take out. We have two SATA powers here. If you guys watched our previous video, you'd see that we already unboxed an extra SATA cable courtesy of MSI, so that it would be easier for you to put another uh, SATA 2.5. Oh wow, they actually put in a WD black. One terabyte WD black SATA, so it's pretty sweet. So what MSI did on this part was, instead of having Velcro cable ties, they fitted in as a sort of mechanism to hold everything into place. So um, this really helps in keeping everything neat. Yes, neat and organized. Uh, Alright, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna be taking out the uh, cooling fan. We have the motherboard under here. Okay, so the fan is out. Just watching Jesse do his thing. Okay, so once the fan is out, you can take out the heat sink, which is directly connected to the motherboard. Don't worry guys, after this we're going to test it out if it still works. <laughs> Don't worry. We have to make sure it works. One of the things that you have to really uh, look at here is that it's a small, it's another small form factor PC that uh, MSI has given us. So everything is pretty much cramped inside. That's why it looks complicated. Once everything is out, it's pretty easy already. So this is the heatsink of the 9700. Now I can see the motherboard. Yep, now you can see the motherboard. Okay, so this is what we're seeing. Mainly what we, what we would be seeing on this part would be the 9700K, which powers everything here. I believe this is a Z390 a motherboard by MSI. And then of course, uh, we have 512GB if I'm not mistaken. 512GB M.2. That's about it. I don't think I want to take it apart any more than I already have. Because there's honestly nothing else to upgrade. To upgrade. Let's put back everything. Uh, we'll be using the Noctua NTH1. Hi game. Okay, so now we're gonna be putting back the components that we took out. I'm gonna make sure it works before we end this video. One thing uh, I noticed about this is you cannot put 
a 3.5 inch HDD. Uh, you can only put in a 2.5 inch storage drive. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna be putting back the fans. Let's put back the SATA drives. Yeah, so uh, do you know how to put back the SATA drive? Yeah. Do it. Pretty much what we just were just gonna do today is upgrade the GPU. Test it out if it still works. Yep. Would you like to put back the GPU where it belongs? And yep, there you go. Bam. Okay, so now it's already an upgraded uh, GPU, Thank which you. is of course a uh, 2080 Ti. We're, what we're gonna do is we're gonna be testing it out if it's actually functioning. Yep, it still works. Okay, so that's about it. Uh, we've tested everything and everything still works. Okay, so um, we're able to upgrade the GPU. It's a, it's a pretty secure, that's all I'm gonna say. It's a secure way of making sure that none of the components move when, of course, when you travel with your SFF PC. Uh, that's about it for now. We'll be piecing everything back together and then we'll be writing our full review on the... Tips Geek. Catch it on the Tips Geeks page at www.tipsgeeks.com. Check out our full review there. Thank you so much for tuning in. Again, this is Jesse from Tips Geeks. And Kai. Bye, guys. Pew, pew.